Hello everyone. Welcome to our next topic. In this topic, we'll cover how to apply for DSC or Digital Signature Certificate. Under that, we will cover what document required for applying DSC, how step by step applying for DSC, how to download DSC or rectify the mistake in DSC, and how to check the validity of DSC. So first, we'll see document required for applying for DSC. So we need a required document, adha your Aadhaar card, PAN card, passport side photos, and address proof. Okay. Once you you have a, all the document with you, then you have to apply for DSC. So for applying a DSC, you have to visit a certifying authority's website, which we call CS. There are 50 CS, which provide you a grant digital certificate. So as I also, I'll show you that uh, the These are uh, certified authorities which you provide you the DSC. Then anyone you can click and you can register yourself yourself as a DSC. I'll show you one. Like I click on the website e, e Mudra. In that you you looking for DSC? Yes. Then click on buy certificate. Individual for if you are individual for individual class three. Or for organization, then you select on the organization. If you are individual, then click on individual. Are you receiving outside India? If yes, then you have to check the box or not. Then, then you have to click on buy certificate. Now you have to enter your mobile number, OTP. Then mobile get on mobile number, you will get a OTP. Then you have to enter your OTP. Or you are already in a existing, then you have to use your name and PIN number, then log in. Once you log in, after that, you have to fill your necessary details, just say what uh, class of DSC you want, like class three, I show you. Okay, class three, there's a lot of class, we have earlier videos, we have seen there the three types of class. So as now as class three is more important, so for class of the DSC validity, then you have to, Type only sign or sign or and encrypt what you want. Only sign or sign and encrypt both you want. Applicant name, contact detail, your address, GST number, and identified detail to prove document declaration. Document as provide doc. You have to provide document after filling all the information. Then you have to provide a document as proof for identify. Uh, address proof document registration. Register office officer documents, payment details. You will have to see on on filing filling up all the necessary detail. You have to upload your recent photography and e sign for the declaration. And after that, you have to check out the, all the check if there is a form is complete. There is no mistake. If so, everything is fine, then click on submit. Take a print of a complete form and print. Then save it for that. You can print out hard copy and you can keep it in your file. After that, fill up the necessary details. You have to prove and proof of identify and address. The supporting document means you have to upload the DSC application. Need to attest it by an assisting official. Means once you complete it, when you print out the form, you have to upload to the DSC application and that you need to buy an assisting assisted by an assisting official. Make sure that a document clearly displayed by the assisted officer signature and seal. Both are clearly mentioned when you are uploading a document in DSC uh, for DSC application, you have to assist, assist, assist sorry, attested by a testing official but make sure that the signature and seal it will be clearly visible on that document you can choose this option if the CAs are providing Aadhaar e KYC if whatever the website you have chosen certified authority in that if you are provide they are providing a Aadhaar e KYC based on authentication you can download and support that paper if you if this option is there okay with the copies of original document they have 
that have been which you have to self assist it and then original supporting document you can approach cs directly under the such circumstances assisting officer are not required for assisted supporting people if you if the cs certificate authorities website is providing you e aadhar e kyc then you can go for that you can su simply submit copy of the original document by your self assisted and with the help of supporting document you can approach cs directly to certificate and in this circumstances you no need to be assisted by the assisting officer you can do by your self as supporting documentation you can also upload a letter or certificate that was provided by a bank or verified by the bank manager it should contain your name pan and address no more assistance is necessary okay and in this that you have to supporting a documentation means you have to submit a documentation you have to upload a letter or certificate which bank provided by a bank by verified by the bank manager under that it can which show that letter will be show your name pan and address and basic this things it is required not more than this okay in order to complete e kyc some cs could also ask you to upload a recorded e verification video that display your original supporting document must be some the certificate authority website also asks you for e verification upload a record did e verification video means you have to show all the original document in that video very clearly that make sure that all the original document documents show your name in everything very clearly on the video and you have to upload that in some some they may ask some website may do not ask after completing all the process you have to payment for dsc okay issue after completing the application uploading the necessary files online method you can pay by credit card debit card net banking upi payment as of your choice insurance of dsc when you dsc submitted the dsc application after completing the stage which include filing out the form payment paperwork payment after completing everything after checking your paperwork and application certificate authorities will electronically issue the dsc your dsc will be on encrypt pen drive that they mail you means that after every payment been payment after filing all the necessary details submitting the all the document payment e kyc or everything is done once you done the payment after that all the things is will verify by the certificate authorities and once they verify their verification is done they will issue electronic issues dsc means that encrypt pen drive the dsc sign will be in your encrypt pen drive that they will mail you on your address okay and now how to download a dsc that each certified authority ca matlab not chartered accountant ca is mean certified authorities here okay has different producer of for a downloading a certificate with a digital signature the dsc download process for a few cs is shown below okay some of the we i have shown you just like i have shown one of that um e mudra as i show you e mudra so i have only shown for e mudra how to download dsc from e mudra when you receive the that encrypt pen drive you have to use that plug in your usb token on your computer then open file option and click on <coughs> e pass 2003 india dot setup dot xex once you select that open file select the preferred language and click okay set up the e pass 2003 by selecting the private csp option and click the install button once it's installed click the finish button set up the your pin to usb token to download the dsc search for the installed e pass 2003 token manager on the windows search bar you can search that and after that enter the default pin and click on the change of user pin to set new pin visit e mudra website and click the download certificate option and on em click 
enter the application number, challenge code. This state, this will be uh, application number, challenge code. It is everything is will be sent you the register mobile number. You can get from there and enter the token password and click agree and download button. Once you click on the download button, that DSC sign will be download in your USB token in your pen drive. Rectifying the mistake in DSC. If you have done any mistake in DSC at the time of sign applying the DSC, so organization or individual must follow this step. So you have to again visit which CA's website you have used for the um, apply for a DSC. You have to go visit that site. Then select the change DSC detail min in a menu item. Complete the DSC required field. Choose the update or renew. DSC. Once uh, you rectify, you can download your again update and renew DSC. Once it's uh, update or renew, you will get the notified. And again, you can same method, you can download the DSC. Now, how to check the validity of DSC? So, again, you have to open USB token tool, click on the login board button. Enter the token password, click your certificate name. The certificate will open, click on the details tab. The detail of your certificate will be display. Or include the validity of detail of the certificate when that DSC is valid for one year, two years, or what date it will be <coughs> inactive. It will be get the information from your digital from the detail tab i hope you have understand what how to apply digital certificate what document you have to need your address proof photos your aadhar card pan card okay and step by step i have explained you how to apply dsc how to download dsc rectifying your dsc and validity how to check validity of the dsc so do you have any question or you want to reach us, simply email us info at the red skillanything.com or contact and this number. Thank you so much for watching the video.